as, uh, as BAs, what is it that we need to do here? So in terms of um, the um, risk assessment, again, we need to look at how we can collaborate with the stakeholders, with working with the senior management, with external suppliers, with stakeholders, with regulators, how we can really work with each of them, trying to understand from their perspective, what is the potential risk? And then what is the impact, likely impact it's going to have? So it's important as BAs, it is our responsibility, even though the overall um, risk management and the ownership of the risks is uh, typically borne by the project manager or the management uh, involved with the, with the program or initiative. As BAs, it's our responsibility to be able to identify the risks and then try and surface the risk so that they, un they will and actually take action about it. So that's very important. And to do that, what we need to do is to look at the historical context and what happened before with a similar program, similar projects before, what happened within our own organization and sometimes benchmarking with other organizations, other companies, which had similar experience with working with a similar uh, project or similar product, what happened there? How, what can we learn from them? How can we avert some of the situations, some of the risks that happened to them? How can we avert them in our context? I think that's important. And to be able to do that, we need to understand, identify constraints, assumptions, and dependencies. Again, I think I, we, we, we discussed this before as well. Very, very important for us to um, understand the assumptions, what assumptions we are taking in what context, specify the assumptions clearly. And also once it is uh, specified, then we need to validate the assumption. We cannot just leave it that, okay, we have assumed here but then we need to validate that with the right SMEs, right subject matter experts to, to actually guide us whether the assumptions that we specified, we stated are, 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 the, are the valid ones or not, or you know, what is the kind of uh, correct assumption if that is not the case. Or even for instance, if not assumption, what's the factual understanding? What is the fact there? If it's no more assumption, then we can actually fact check that and then convert that assumption into a fact or a known um, aspect. And then the third one is basically the um, dependencies. There are different dependencies, different ways that each project or each feature could be related to the other. So there is a dependency. There is a potentially do this first, do this later. There is a kind of uh, dependency or they both can be done together. So there is that sense of uh, parallel activity that can be done or you cannot do one activity unless the other activity is finished. So all of those dependencies, one could be done after the other, one could be done before the other, and a third scenario is one could be done in conjunction with the other activity. So all of these need to be done. What are the dependencies with over other applications, other features, other tasks, other uh, projects, other initiatives, all of those. All of those need to be identified, the dependencies, and then we need to specify those. And then as BAs, we need to identify and express each risk, what type of risk. Again, we discussed this, the probability of occurrence and then impact to determine that level of risk. What is the likelihood of that risk happening? And then if it is happening, for example, what, there's a confidence level with a confidence level of, let's say 70%, what is the likely impact that's going, to, um, that's going to happen with that? So that is, let's say, in a range of one to five, whatever. And then we multiply both of these the likelihood as well as the impact. And we can give a rating of the, that is the weightage of that. So, and then the next risk, risk, risk. So we can then come up with a risk register, which actually is a function of both likelihood as well as the likely impact of that particular risk if it happens, if that occurs. So that's a function of that. And then we can rate the all the risks and then we can take mitigative actions based on the ranks of each of these risks. So this is how we can quantify, we can try and give a number to this kind, we can give a kind of a rating, a ranking, and then take uh, the follow-up action, take the mitigative action based on the rank. Uh, 